we're going to take a look at the InSAM We Trust trophy for Death Stranding. Within the game, you are tasked with getting all 36 facilities onto the chiral network, also known as the UCA. By the end of the story, Sam will have connected to 30 of these stations or preppers. There will be six more that you need to seek out after the game. We're going to take a look at the list of preppers and not city attendants here. They're listed as NPCs. The first four here are in the eastern region. You will meet them through the story, but the top two here, the Ludens fan and the musician, those two are the preppers that you're going to have to seek out in the eastern region, followed by the Port Knot City, who you will meet um, in the eastern region before you head over to the central region. Here is four more. These are all in the central region. This, from now on, this is the central region here. The elder there, we're going to we're, we're going to take a look at later. The film director, we're going to talk about a little bit. Um, these two, I'm going to point out. You're going to meet them through the story, but I want to point out some of these more stubborn preppers that don't want to kind of give in um, to the network. The collector there, he's the first one in the central region that we're going to have to seek out and get onto the network. Everyone else here you meet through the story. The novelist son there on the bottom, he is the fourth one that is in this list uh, that you're going to have to find. This is the mountain area, um, mountain not city, and a bunch of the preppers that you're going to find through the story. And the first prepper here is all the way up in the mountains, very close to the spiritualist. He is one of the six you're going to have to locate. Um, and it's best to find him after the story. And the veteran porter is the last on this list of the six you're going to need to locate on your own. You're not going to meet through the story. We're going to take a look at him. And Peter Englert. He is he's a special case. He's not too hard to get onto the network, but we're going to talk about him just briefly um, because his orders are a little bit more high maintenance than some others. So as I mentioned, 36 facilities in total. There are seven facilities here in the eastern region where we're starting out, and there are, the remaining 29 are in the central region. There's nothing in Edge Knot City area that you need to worry about. As, as, you, as you can see on the, uh, the top of the map here, it says 39 facilities connected. Uh, this was recorded very recently after I had already gone through, gotten the exam we trust, and gotten all the other trophies needed, um, and the platinum. But right now I'm showing you a very reliable place to find lost cargo for the Ludens fan in the eastern region. This is in between a mule camp and a uh, BT area that is to the east of the distribution center west of capital not city I believe it's what it is what it's called above that mule camp is the way station that is in the eastern region and there's the Ludens fans um, facility as I mentioned this is recorded rather recently I already have five stars with Ludens fan but I do want to show you where he's located and the uh, facilities that he's close to and some of the other landmarks that you're gonna know so right under the mule camp area is going to be where this lost cargo is located. It almost always will be here. If you pick it up and then you go directly back to it, it won't be there. If you can't find it there, um, go across the river just behind where Sam is now and there should be some lost cargo about 100 meters on the other side of the river. We're going to walk up here without uh, get using any up. of the networked uh, ladders or anything, just so you get an understanding of where we're going. As I said, seven facilities in the eastern region. The other 29 will be in the central region. 
nothing else to worry about. Um, and there are three other facilities that that are mentioned in the map, and I'm not entirely sure what the 39th one is. I know that you know Edge Knot and I don't remember if it's a way station or a distribution center in Edge Knot. Those two don't have anyone working there. You don't need to, to deliver to them. You really can't deliver to them um, with standard orders. Here is uh, where the Luden's fan is located. And uh, I don't know if you can tell who that is. A few of these, almost all of, all of the, the personalities that you see, the faces that are used, for these preppers, these not city uh, station workers, are kind of really neat cameos. Some of them are people who work in the games industry. Some of them are people who are, you know, at least well known in their professions for, for what they do. And uh, and the Ludens fan is is known for being a fan of Kojima. We'll leave it at that. And here is his facility. Uh, it may not look as uh, as lit up and as as decorated when you first discover it. Some of these facilities they change how they look Delivery with the the um, with the amount of connection it, to man. the network that they have. Man, if it wasn't for guys like you, we'd all be screwed. I don't think we don't know it. So here's the Lumens fan. Do it. I really don't. Respect, man. Seriously. And I mean, you're probably going to get a little bit different dialogue when you first meet him, but this is just the lost cargo, and we're going to deliver it to him. And obviously, you can tell this is pretty late in the game. Always a pleasure, Sam. So, only ever both the Ludens fan—I mean, really everybody in the eastern region—you're um, not going to struggle to get it's them easy. onto the network. Yeah. You're going to have to find Ludens, and you're going to have to find the musician who we're going to look at next. But all seven facilities are fairly easy to get connected to the network and to five stars for that matter and we're going to take a look at the musician next so here we are on the way to the musician in the eastern region the other prepper that you're going to need to find and he's hidden away a little bit on a cliff at the very end of the the river that runs through the eastern region. He's the second most western station on your way to uh, to Port Knot City. Port Knot City is the only one that's that's more west than he is. If you can see that's the end of the uh, the river there. And uh, I'm showing you this standard order here because I could not locate a um, a piece of lost cargo for, for the musician. So I wanted to show this as an example of the other way that you can locate these six preppers. You can't just walk into their station and be able to start grabbing standard orders from them, but if you do discover a prepper station and you check to see if there are orders, if there's standard orders, or a few of them will actually have orders for Sam. Uh, the first prepper will have an order for uh, Peter Englert at the very end of, like, the last um, pizza you need to um, deliver to Peter Englert will be from the first prepper. Um, so he, he will have an order for Sam. But for the most part, if they have any kind of standard orders for you to do, it'll be a miscellaneous order to go either into a mule camp, like we're looking at here, or to a body of water to retrieve lost or stolen cargo. And for the musician, we were able to, to get such an order. And I, uh, I put in for a premium delivery, and, uh, and we were, we're gonna take a look at uh, and how that works out for us here in just a minute. I just showed he's uh, to the west of the distribution center, and, uh, and you might even see him as you uh, as you were heading around. You, you might, you know, if you if you look um, hard enough as you're passing through, if you're heading towards 
um, not the wind farm, this is past the wind farm. If you're heading towards Port Knot City, you might be able to look out uh, onto the cliffs uh, at the edge of the river and, and see him. But uh, chances are you won't you won't find lost cargo for him. Uh, yeah, this is sped up, and uh, it didn't it didn't go 100%. But uh, I went down. I retrieved two of the three pieces that were in the river, and I walked back up um, behind this area here, as we as we saw before. Um, it's a little bit of a, a mule camp. So if you can't find lost cargo. Um, I would imagine either the order we just did here or going into the mule camp and retrieving some stolen um, cargo and bringing it back to him should help you get things started. So this was my this was my experience. This was the first time I actually met the musician in my gameplay. And um, the order went pretty well, even though I got a little damaged. The package got damaged, and BB got a little upset because I fell. Um, this is going to show you how it's really easy to please the Eastern Region facilities. We put this in for a premium order, and to be honest, I'm kind of surprised at the rating I got. I picked up two, which is the minimum for the premium delivery. And there's about almost 20% damage there, which is pretty bad, to be honest. And I didn't have to go too far to get it, and I got an A. And it gave me 288 likes, which is really great. So that sent me all the way to almost three stars. The network's been working out pretty good for me, so... Okay, let's do it. And here he is saying that the network has done so well for him that he's going to join the UCA. So here's an example of what you need to do. You need to get each of the 36 onto the UCA, and the way that you know if they are connected to the UCA is if you have all network capabilities, including the ability to fabricate items. Because some of these stations will join the network on contract. This is what it looks like. You see it on the map. Now it, it shows, shows that area on the map. It shows you the star. So yeah, um, some will join on contract, but you will not be able to fabricate items. And that, that will show that they are not on the UCA. So if you are wondering whether or not a facility is on the UCA, there's two ways to look. You can go to that facility, you can see if you can fabricate while you're there, or you can look at the list, the NPC list on your Bridges Link um, menu, and if there's a UCA stamped like this onto their, their nameplate, then you're good to go. If it says Fragile or Bridges? I don't think it says anything else but Fragile. I think Fragile is the contracted network that they will sometimes agree to, to join, um, and some will be kind of against joining the UCA, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Let's take a look at the, uh, the collector here. So now we are in the central region. This is where you're going to spend almost all of your time. People are a little bit harder to impress here, and here is some lost cargo. I did just capture this recently, this week. Um, this is a piece of lost cargo that I found to the uh, east of the distribution center south of Mountain Knot City. And that's showing you where the collector is. Now, my personal uh, experience with the collector is I, I, I don't even know how I knew where he was, but by the end of the story, the collector was already on my map. He was showing me that I already knew where he was, but I never had found his facility. I must have picked up some lost cargo for him. Because once you pick up lost cargo for a, a prepper or are given an order for um, one of these not cities, you, ne you, you then know where it is. So I must have picked up some lost cargo, but I didn't record that experience because I didn't even know what happened. Oh, and that. then seeking the collector out, I... Um, I must have 
found him and done the same thing I did with the musician. I must have found him and and grabbed one of his standard miscellaneous orders to complete because I did get him on the network um, rather easily and I got him to five stars pretty quickly but uh, unfortunately I didn't capture that. I thought I did. So instead I captured this. Um, this is Lost Cargo heading straight to the, the collector and I'm sure you probably recognize this area. Um, you are going to travel back and forth in this area so very often. He is in one of these crevices. Um, and there's, a, there's a good network of these cracks and crevices in this area. Um, a giant mule camp right there. And we're already inside the mule camp area. Um, distribution center is there. Um, on the other side of that mule camp is the film director um, and the junk dealer, the Cairo artist, are all over on that side of the mule camp. And you're going to be traveling back and forth in this area so many times. So here's the collector. I'm, I'm bringing him some lost cargo. Ooh, what I'm going to show you here is after he drops this off, we're going to take a look at... Um, some possible standard orders Hello. that are going to be offered Hello. if you don't find lost cargo for him. Oh, you can go in um, you might be something of a and you can take one of these standard the the orders if not the to go into the mule camp and retrieve some stolen game consoles. There's three standard orders that are on his list when uh, we take a look at them so here in just a second. One of them is all the way north in that giant crater that's a huge BT area. That's kind of a pain to uh, head all the way up there and do just to get him on the network. I would suggest you look for one of the two standard orders that send you directly into the mule camp here, this one, and the other one's coming up here in just a second, that one there. Both of them, you just have to go up into the mule camp, take a bunch of those guys out. It's a real easy mule camp to to clear out. Everything's flat, so you can't really hide. There's no places to hide in this one. It's, it's, it's a mule camp that has fairly barren earth. So you go in there, you get his uh, stolen um, cargo, you bring it back to him, you can start, start a relationship with him um, if you can't find any lost cargo for him. Next, we're taking a look at the veteran porter. Right now we're at the uh, Timefall Farm, which is an area you're going to spend a lot of time at in the post-game. Um, there's about, I think, six memory chips in this area. There's a big mountain below Timefall Farm that you can climb and get a memory chip, and it's a really cool place to go and just kind of see the whole map. Um, check it out if you haven't already. Uh, there's a mule camp. To the right of where we are right now, as we head up this mountain, sped up, um, and there is a memory chip on top of the Timefall Farm. You're, you're going to spend a lot of time in this area, but what you might not realize is the Veteran Porter is just a ways up the mountain, away from the Timefall Farm, if you haven't found him yet. Now, I couldn't find any lost cargo for him in any of that area, so I decided to come on up and see if he had any orders since we got lucky with the collector and the musician and unfortunately he has no orders for us, but we do get very lucky. We're going to head out inside his facility and look around and we're going to find some lost cargo very quickly and bring it in and meet him. Um, while we're going to look, look for this lost cargo, I'm just going to talk briefly about Peter Englert, uh, because as I mentioned, Peter loves his pizza, and you're going to have to go to five different facilities, pick up a pizza for him, and some of them will have even more cargo to bring, and bring it to his station, and he is located uh, to the left of uh, Lake Knot City. Not very hard to get to. 
and not very hard to get on the network because you're only going to ever have five. See here, here we have the lost cargo for him. It's very close, very easy to find. Um, but back to Peter, he's not hard to find and he's not hard to please because there's only five orders that are ever going to be available for um, for Peter Engler. But bring him his pizza. The the only reason I want to point him out is because he's high maintenance. His deliveries require you to have the pizza um, parallel to the ground. So when Sam is carrying it, he has to carry it on top of everything else on his back. He can't carry it by hand because then it would be perpendicular to the ground. If it was a real pizza, the cheese would all slide off. So that's the whole idea with, um, with Peter Englert's um, cargo. But there's also one from the Time Fall Farm that we just left where you actually have to carry some alcohol. Um, I don't know if it's the Time Fall Porter that they make there or wine or champagne. I can't me remember exactly what it is that you have to carry, but you have to carry two pieces of cargo in each hand and you have to actually walk from the Time Fall Farm all the way to Peter Englert Station. So just keep an eye on, on his orders. Um, and realize he's a little bit more high maintenance than some of the other people. Here we have our lost cargo for the veteran porter and we're turning it in and we're gonna see who he is. He's another cameo that's pretty uh, pretty interesting, kind of enjoyable. Someone who works in the games industry and you might know him by his face. He is the and face of Max life. Payne. Veteran Porter is a little bit of one of the stubborn um, preppers that you're going to have to deal with. He's a little critical of your deliveries because he is a porter himself. If you bring him something that's got uh, time fall damage to the cargo container, he'll say, hey, why didn't you use some repair spray before you brought it to me? If it gets actually damaged, um, he'll he'll let you know. He's a little unsatisfied with what you've done, and he will rate you um, accordingly. So look out for that. Speaking of preppers that are hard to please, we're going to take a look at some of the emails from the Elder, and we're going to talk about the Elder, the film director, the veteran porter, and the first prepper. With some of these, especially those four that I just mentioned, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to give them some time and space in between orders if you want to get them on the network. If you can see here, the Elder is first very um, reticent to joining the Chiral network because he believes he was perfectly fine with his contracted fragile network. He doesn't want to get on the UCA. He doesn't trust it, um, but eventually he gives in. And the reason he gives in is because, and for all four of these, what you need to do is make your initial deliveries, meet them, start impressing them um, with what you bring them and how well um, the cargo is tr transported. But eventually what you'll see is your like count, even though you're getting massive likes from them, the star rating will stop at about 1.8 or 2.8, and they just won't cross that barrier where they finally accept to get on to the UCA. So what you're going to need to do is give them some time. Go and deliver to another region. Have Sam sleep rest in a not facility or a safe house over the period of a bunch of times and eventually you'll get an email like we got here from the elder saying okay i'm ready bring me something best thing to do when when you get that is find an order with a nice light count and then bring it their way and make sure everything is tip top so that they have no complaints and you should see the same result we see here. Always check your emails, especially when Sam rests at a uh, not city or a, uh, a safe house. Don't worry. 
always keep an eye on some of these more stubborn preppers and as I said the best thing you can do is give them some space the good news is that if you are still delivering to them regularly and you're not seeing that needle move from two to three stars the light count is retroactive and once you do break that barrier you should see a nice massive climb from 1.8 stars to three or four stars. Here, we only went one star. Oh, well. But still, I know we I got there, and out. he says, okay, let's Let get on the network. If you hadn't bent over. I see Some of these preppers have their own little side stories. They're kind of neat. Um, the Elder is, uh, is definitely one that if you deliver him 100 orders, he has a... A new kind of story piece to uh, to add. If you have the time and you're loving your time um, in this game, I uh, I urge you to to go ahead and and keep delivering him uh, his medicine and everything, and you'll see how his uh, story ends up. Sam's gonna drop the base here with uh, the Cairo network. Elders on the UCA. As I mentioned, Elder, the film director in a small way, um, we're not going to take a look at him because I, I didn't really have any problems with him, but and mostly because I didn't deliver to him for a very long time between the story and running through all my standard orders and working on my Legends of Legends and things like that. I didn't worry too much about him, but the first prepper and the veteran porter are the other two that you're really going to have to work on especially because if you haven't met them until the story's oh, over, done. you're going to need to kind of hurry up and get those Feels things working. Nice. Okay? Thanks for so that out. we're going to say goodbye to the until Elder for now, and, uh, and we're going to head off to the, uh, to the, next, New order the next prepper Please that we're going to need to meet, terminal for further information. which is the first prepper here in the mountain area. What I, uh, I failed to show you in this video, because this was my actual first uh, experience finding the first prepper, was directly behind Sam right now is a mountain, and on that mountain is the spiritualist. So it's very easy to get from the spiritualist to the first prepper. Um, if you're lucky like me, once we get up the hill, we're going to see a, uh, a zip line. So if you have a zip line at the, um, the spiritualist, you'll be able to zip on over to this next mountain peak and head on down and meet the first prepper. Now I couldn't find any lost cargo for him either, so we're going to show you a very shortened version of uh, the first order that I accepted for him to get him onto the network. It didn't go great we'll say that much um, so I did have to cut out almost all of it but basically as I said behind us is the spiritualist right here is the zip line that you can uh, hopefully if it's in your game somebody put it there Someone, some other player put it there so that made it a lot easier to get to and from and eventually once you uh, get him on the network you can drop a, uh, a zip line right outside Right to the right to the left there is where I put another zip, uh, so that I can easily get to and from him. Because you're going to need to deliver him a couple timed um, deliveries that you're, you're going to want to be as fast as you can with him. So we're lucky enough to find a standard order for him. And oh, that's oh, I'm sorry, that's orders. That's that's the Peter Engler order that you have to do. But here we're going to go down into the mule camp, all the way down the mountain. And we're going to retrieve some stolen items, and then we're going to head all the way back up. And uh, it didn't go great, and the trip down and the trip back up was very, very long and hard. I Unfortunately, I had a power suit that died halfway up back up the mountain, so I kind of had to take every few feet. I had to stop and rest. As you see, I'm using a, uh, a floating carrier here in order to try to make it up as much as possible without damaging the packages. They do get damaged 
Part of that was probably because I did have to fight off a bunch of mules in order to get these, these pieces of cargo. But here we are, as you can see, my power suit was all blinking red because it was not doing too good. It is a, it's a long journey to go all the way down there and all the way back up when you can't put down any zip lines to get up because the first prepper's area is very large. So you're missing out on a whole large area of land that you can uh, put your networked items on. Here's the first prepper. He's checking out our items. He's not as happy as I would like him to be. He's a little disappointed, but we'll have plenty of other orders to uh, impress him with. We just need to get him started so that we can collect orders for him. Unfortunately, with the first prepper, there's not a whole lot of orders you're going to see in other facilities for him. The spiritualist will have one or two, which is super easy to get to, because she's just over the, over the, the next mountain peak there. But um, I think the paleontologist has an order for him. The Evo Devo, I believe, has one. Um, th there's a couple more that you're going to be able to, to deliver to him. But you're going to... I personally had him as the last person I could get on the network because I just didn't have enough orders to bring to him to uh, get his light count up high enough. And we'll be taking a look a little bit more at him a little bit later. I realized I had not shown on the map where he was located very well. So this is just a little bit more capture of where he's at. Um, this was immediately after that first meeting. I walked um, about 100 meters away from his station and then and opened up the map. And this is, this is the map view that we're seeing here. Um, he's very close to the spiritualist. And then the mountaineer is just... Uh, to the left of him and then down here that looks like the distribution center but uh, the weather station is down there yeah that's the distribution center way state uh, the I'm sorry the the weather station is uh, probably in between those two not directly between though I was trying to figure out where I could put my zip line so I could get down to the there's the weather station there we go so not directly down the mountain, but um, that is the closest facility on the other side of the first prepper. And here we have the novelist's son. Um, this is my experience finding him. Basically, from the photographer, you go straight hmm. forward into kind of a swampy area go all the way to the very top of the map in this area. This is the area that's above the mountain area, above the snowy area. Um, you have a distribution center up here, and if you go around the corner past the distribution center, there's the way station. But here's the photographer who you can access from those mountain area facilities if you have a good zipline network. And then you go all the way up to the uh, the top edge of the map here. It's pretty much the northwestern top of the map. No other reason to go up there if you don't know that Novelist Sun is up there. And we got lucky with a nice piece of lost cargo just outside of his facility. So we're going to grab that and we're going to go meet him. Novelist Sun fairly easy to to deal with because he is just a very short truck ride over to the distribution center north of Mountain Knot City and there's plenty of orders that you can do back and forth between those two. He also will have at least one if not two standard miscellaneous orders sending you into the mule camp which is uh, down below. This mule camp is a very very hard mule camp. This is, I think, this is the one in the in the story they call um, terrorists. They can um, they can mess you up, and there's a lot of them. It's a very large area. 
a lot of different waterways. Um, there's a forest area in the back of it. This is pretty good. And they're 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 just they're out to get Sam. They're they're lethal. They use lethal weapons. And of course, you can't use any lethal weapons. You can't kill any of them, but you can certainly try to take them all out. So look for that if uh, if you need to. But fortunately, we brought him some lost cargo, and uh, and we're good to go. And lastly, we're going to look at the order for the first prepper that got him on the UCA. As you can see the email here, uh, he's finally decided, okay, I'm ready to join. So as soon as I got this email after resting at a, uh, a Knot City, I looked, I had to go to probably three or four different places before I finally located a, um, an order for the, first, for the first prepper, because as I said before, his orders are kind of hard to find sometimes. So I gathered together uh, all the stuff I needed, and uh, I i believe this is the paleontologist. No, it's not. It looks like Mountain Knot City. Um, yeah, so we're going to go... Or is it the doctor? Must be the doctor. We're going to go deliver... Um, a large, a very large order. Unfortunately, it's it's funny with these uh, these power suits. You can carry up to 330 kilos of weight, but if they're in these giant 80 kilo cargo containers, um, you, you can't fit <laughs> those those containers on Sam's arms or legs. So you have to really maneuver things around in order to get everything on his back so that you can use the zip line. And that's what I did. I went. I zipped all the way to the first prepper. I had a great, a great network of zip lines up. You definitely need a fantastic network of zip lines in order to get everything done, to get your timed orders done, to get really anything done uh, in this game efficiently. You need your zip lines. And uh, in this order, oh yes, I'm stopping at the uh, the time fall shelter. Always use repair spray or have a time fall shelter right next to a facility when you deliver so that you can just give them a little bit extra quality because they definitely like that and first prepper is hard to please so always do that do that with a veteran porter too as I mentioned before because he will tell you off if you uh, bring him something that's has any kind of time fall contamination on it here we are uh, delivering our our order to the first prepper and we're gonna see uh, the results that, that it's going to actually get us the trophy because this is the 36th facility I needed to get onto the network. The legend delivers. The real good care of this, I can tell. Just remember, uh, 36 altogether, 7 in the eastern region, 29 in the central region. You don't have to worry about Edgemont City. Keep working on those Legend of Legends. Get your premium orders in. Get as many likes as you can. Work on your grades for the uh, the categories here. Fine, fine. You can pretty much do all, plunge. all of these at once. You can sure. work on getting so your S ranks and getting your, your 60 Thank grades you and everything you as you do this. Here is the trophy in Sam We Trust. Of course, on Share Factory, I gotta toss it in there because it doesn't show up on its own. And. Here's our final base drop from Sam. And there you go. So that's all 36 facilities onto the UCA. Remember, some of them will be on by contract only. So you're gonna have to push them up to about three stars for most of them. Somet sometimes two stars is enough. Um, and there you go. Fabricate equipment. That's what you're looking for. This is only the beginning, you know. We better get this was right the this final one. I, I was kind of hoping there was going to be some kind of you could use. grander uh, Leave it if you don't. graphic showing that the entire network was connected, but it's not. And what do I get for it? A little product placement. Everybody loves their monster. 
some of these keychains and little things you get from from these preppers Thank are you, are a lot of fun. Let's do this again, huh? There you have it. That's uh, all 36 facilities connected. In Sam We Trust Trophy for Death Stranding. Hope that helped you a lot. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.